everybody, it's your boy Dan Paul, man. We are live and we are back. But next up with Dan Paul, man, episode two. It's been some time, man. I'm glad y'all still with us. You know, um, we've been working behind the scenes and a lot of people have been asking me my opinion on music. Y'all know this already. I spoke on this when I had Mitch Leach on the previous episode. But we have a guy from Uptown, you know, I, I get loud with that one. We got a guy from Uptown that been spitting crazy for years, you feel me? But been flooding the internet and flooding the gram for the last two, three years, you know, with endless bars. You know, I give him the name um, Beat Killer, you feel me? Uh, it's like any beat that you decide to throw at him, he's going to do one thing. And I don't mean to be funny, but he's going to demolish it. You feel me? Um, every time I listen to his music, you know, I like to put people on. Like, yo, listen to my man Freestyle. Or I repost it. And he's like, yo, this nigga hot as shit, yo. What's his name? His name Fame. Famos! What's up, yeah, bro? How you yeah, doing today, yeah, man? Yeah. Oh, I appreciate you having me, bro. I appreciate you being that was here. A, that was a hell of an introduction. Hey. That was a hell of an introduction. I'm going to need that everywhere I go. Everywhere if you book me, I need that. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, man. Yeah. We're we are live, man, on Next Up with Dad Paul. So um, we were speaking behind the scenes. But Next Up, you know, we basically just want to dissect your project, yeah. dissect, um, your, you know, your, your brain with the, with like, how you create music, things right. of that sort, your right. shows, your management, things what you have going on in the near future with yeah, your music. Exactly. But first things first, man, I want to say welcome back, bro. Yo, thank you, man. Thank welcome you, back, bro. man. Uh, you've been killing the gram with your minute freestyles. Yeah. You've been killing the gram consistently yeah. with different beats. But we're here to talk about your project. Yeah, definitely. Now or never. Now or never. And we ain't going to speak now. about it never. We're going to speak platforms. about this shit now. You feel me, sir? All platforms. Yeah. Right now. Now, the intro, you yeah. know, motivation. You got yeah. Bree on there. Yeah. And the intro was... Like different, um, and I say different. It was different because I didn't expect you to have a singer, yeah. you know, on the opening song. Yeah. Like you being a street nigga, you feel me? Right, right. Cause when it don't make sense no more, and the pain's too much to endure, I just hope that I can motivate you. I just hope that I can motivate you. Cause when it don't make sense no more, and the pain's too much to endure. I just hope that I can. I just hope that I can motivate you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Just, your, uh, you know, your thoughts on making her, you know, be a part of the song and also um, just starting out with having an R&B type of vibe as the intro. Yeah. Um, this this project, I really wanted to go into it like uh, really telling more about my life, telling more of the story. And, uh, you know, you can rap and tell the story over a lot of things, but uh, I just feel like a heartfelt voice do it a lot more. Mm. And uh, me and Bria had connected uh, through like Instagram. I met her on Instagram. Okay. And uh, we linked up in the studio and it just kind of came about. Like she didn't write nothing. She didn't have nothing written down. I had sent her a beat like weeks before. Okay. But even when she came, she was just like, I got ideas. I don't got nothing written down. Mm. And she just went in there and bodied it. And when she did that, it would do throw you off? Like, it threw me off. I mean, like, what the? It threw me off. Because the note she was hitting, the, the topic, I didn't even have to tell her much about what we was talking about. And she 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 went in there and killed it. She when went killed it. So did she make that hook or she, you came up with the hook and she, she sung it? Hook. She made the hmm. hook. She freestyled it. She played around with it for a while. She played with the harmonies a little bit. And about 20, 30 minutes, she, she had it perfected. She had it perfected. Now with your verse, you yeah. know, as the intro, um, motivation, you were saying some, some shit. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? And you were saying some shit as far as like one thing you were saying, and I noticed you was speaking on like, you know, it's kind of hard to like, like you don't have no trust in people like, like yeah. that anymore. And um, I know Boz being from Philly, a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah. But like, why did you know, like, why did you like say that on the intro? On a, um, like, as far as the song being called Motivation and not yeah. being able to trust people as well. Right. That makes sense. Um, it was, it was really just kind of like about setting the tone for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew going into this project, I had never did nothing like it before. Mm -hmm. I had never been so vulnerable in my music before. Right. So I knew going into it that I wanted to talk about stuff that I was uncomfortable with, stuff that I may have not have done, not not to want in the light, right. but I wanted to put it in the light. Mm -hmm. So uh, talking about those things is just real emotions we deal with, like you know what I'm saying, and just being vulnerable and letting people know that there's somebody else out there that go through those same type of things. 
and we can speak on it. And that's kind of why the track is titled Motivation. Right. And I name and I, I kind of run down my hardships in my life through the song just to just to let it be known that, you know, like you can get motivation from going through the worst things in your life. You get motivation from that. And then seeing other people overcome it mm -hmm. is even more motivational. So once she once she brought the hook out and, and I got into the raps, I just knew like motivation had to be the name of the track. Right. Now we're gonna go right down the track list. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Cause after motivation, I had a lot of energy. Yeah. And that energy, you know, I was yeah. just playing that shit coming up here. Yeah. You feel me? And energy, yo, you know, yeah, a lot of dope. people like, Dev, Dev, yo, you be listening to some pain music, man. Like, yeah. you listen to, listen, I listen to shit that I can relate to. And Thanks. I'm not going to be like, oh, yippee happy when I'm listening to motherfuckers talk about yachts and rollies and shit that I can't even afford right, yet right, or right. haven't experienced yet. I'm, to, I'm you rapping about the poverty, you rapping about the streets of Philly, and yeah. the energy. You was that right there. I feel as though um, it was um, touching because you were speaking on a lot of personal things, yeah. and you were speaking on like people that you knew personally mm -hmm. or knew personally. Um, like, what was your reaction on that, or the, um, what was the crowd reaction on that? The crowd reaction on that was kind of like. 50 50 you know okay. people love the song of course but it's some of the details in there that people wasn't fucking with you know right. what i mean a lot of people that's involved in the song and these is real people like these real people that i'm close with so they didn't have like it wasn't like they didn't have the means to reach out to me so you know like uh they heard the song and they reached out instantly right and you know like some people felt the kind of way some people heard it and took it for what it was just for face value as you know like me telling my story but um for the most part the reaction the reaction was great from it though you know what i mean and the biggest the biggest thing about it is i felt a lot of weight off my shoulders from recording that song you know what i'm saying like a lot of the stuff with homies and past relationships a lot of stuff that we uh drift away from talking about mm -hmm. i felt a lot of weight off my shoulders when i actually got able to was able to put it out and then do it in the right way like not disrespect people you know yeah like, yeah, yeah you right. know what i'm saying right, still right. keep you still it respectful a, right 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 i got still you still tell the story you know what i'm saying you're not fabricating anything exactly but you're not putting exactly. too much out there right exactly. i get it you know what i'm saying i get it um the reason i like that song because uh i can relate to that you know there's a lot of yeah. people that uh i consider you know folks are cool and then you know we just had a different um we had different lanes we just decided yeah, exactly. you know decide to follow you know um and that's not throwing no dirt on anyone it's just yeah. the reality of it is, is you know you're just moving on um but you know love loss at the same exactly, time exactly exactly you know and the patience Still solid. Know some niggas down to die, but would you kill body? Made a way for all my brothers. We had real problems. Know a nigga who surrendered, and they still shot him. Don't duck me or betray me for no hoes. Don't mistake me for no fake. You better know. Nigga still don't hold no grudge. I let it go. I let it go. Nigga still don't hide this pain. I let it show. Remember nights I risked my life up on that one way We keep it silent if it's problems, then it's gunplay I told my day ones we gon' be rich one day I told my mama I'ma see her again someday Never fall, I know some real ones who got pressure and they never told That's why I hit the booth, go harder, I can't settle, no I know they hate me, what you think, I keep this metal force with me always You know, we had the song Patience The patience, to me, is a I want to say, and it's funny he's playing it. it. It reminds me of, how can I say it? Like, ah, uh, how can I say it? It reminds me of something like, I'm trying to think of the damn song because there's so many artists that's popping up in my head right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But it, it reminds me of like a breakthrough, if that makes sense. Like coming from all your music videos, all your tracks that you recently was dropping. Mm -hmm. Patience was you speaking on your family, your cousin, I believe, you're yeah, speaking about yeah. having a life sentence. Yeah, a couple you know, of them. a couple, yeah, yeah. a couple of them. Um, yeah. Speaking on the words of encouragement or words that the words of wisdom that they were trying to give you, yeah. so you won't be in the same position. Right. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, uh, like you said, patience is about uh, a lot of people I know just incarcerated in the system. Some people that's coming home, some people that's never coming home, and uh, it's 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 different for me when you hear like rappers talk about. Like people doing life and homies in jail and sending money, but like I talk to these guys like every day, you know what I'm saying? So right. 
I felt like it was part of my purpose just to tell kind of their story because they wasn't able to do it. Right. And uh, not only that, just, you know, mention the, the, the inspiration that they give me mm -hmm. to do the music. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the a lot of the people that I talk to in the jails, they they keep me pushing with this shit. You know what I'm saying? And they and they hear the music just like we do. They got them on their tablets upstate and all that. So mm. yeah, so so they, so they mm. listen to the music like we do. And they appreciating the bars and shit like that, and that's what's that's what's touching me. You yeah, know like saying? you got these niggas telling yeah, you this, like, yeah. they like this shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And these are people you think like, oh, you probably not gonna hear it. Right, like course, hopefully but, you do, but right, right. But and and then like you know, uh, with the way things are set up right now, they was able to hear it. They got mm -hmm. it on their tablets. They can download it up there. So it just let me know I was I was pushing towards the right direction with the song. You know what I'm saying? And uh, mm -hmm. the video shot by Jay Rich, right in the background just, too. Uh, mm -hmm. We kind of just wanted to go with the feel of like, uh, you know, just being like a kid in that in them circ in those circumstances and poverty and just, you know, drug dealing and gang banging and all types of shit that you're around and just rising up from it. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be whether it be through music or sports or however the case may be, just being able to come from those situations and be able to get out of them was kind of what patience was about. Now, one thing um, I do notice that you always speak on and um, shit, you better. Yeah. Um, it's your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Definitely. And, um, you know, it, it reminds me of, like, you know, I lost, you know, you reached out to me about when I lost my grandpa, and I, yeah. and I know how, I never, ex like, it went with my grandmother as well, but my, I never, like, experienced a serious death to a point where it's, like, they're close. So I can imagine, yeah. you know, how you felt at your age when you lost your mom. Right. But, like, I just wanted to, like, you know, I don't know if people ever, you know, got a chance to, or you got a chance to speak on her, like, but um, like your motivation, really, man, like, yeah. cause I know you speak, you 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 get praise to your mom on a lot of songs, yeah, bro. Yeah, definitely. Like you can share it, you know, if you want to speak on it. Yeah, like, definitely. Um, like how do you how do you feel as though like she carries the music and you know things? Yeah, like the the biggest thing I think about with my mom is like, uh, I used to be writing my raps in the crib and shit all the time, and she'll bust in like telling me to do dishes or doing whatever. Right. And. Any other time, she'll make me go do that shit. But if I'm like, Mom, I'm writing a rap, right. she's like, all right, just wait till you're done. I'm cool with it. Right. So in that mind, that let me know, like, she was she was fully on board with it. She was she was, uh, she was was uh, pushing everything that I wanted to do with the music shit. You know what I'm saying? I had I had my first job at 16, at like a Pathmark or something. Mm -hmm. Pathmark when it was around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to, like, some, like, music conference or something. Okay. And came back, and I told my mom, like, yo, mom, I'm quitting work. Like, I'm never going back to work again. Like, <laughs> never. And she didn't never. flee. Right, like, right, she right. didn't flee. You know, most moms like, would be what? like, what are you what? tripping? Right. Like, she didn't trip. So that's when I knew, like, all right, yeah, like, she, she definitely supportive with this shit. But right. um, since her passing, I think it's just, like, uh, not to sound like super religious or nothing, but I, I think it's just like a uh, kind of guy using me as a vessel to talk about those situations. Because there's people out here that go through it. Mm -hmm. And when you go through stuff like that and when you experience huge loss, it's, it's easy to feel like you're the only person that ever been through that. Mm -hmm. And you will realize like once you start talking about it and once you become more open with it, people will become vulnerable to you. You know what I'm saying? Like to me, it makes me feel good that people can come up and talk to me about losing their mom or losing their, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is that they lost in life. All right. And I think that just comes from me being so open and vulnerable and not being afraid to talk about it. A lot right. of my friends and family would say that uh, after she passed, I kind of like strayed away from the topic because I didn't know how to talk about it in the right way, mm -hmm. in the right manner. I felt like I was still too young, still hadn't experienced enough of life. Right. But uh, with this project, I felt like it was the right time. I let it out. They let it all out and really just be forth with it. Listen, bro. Listen, man. Like I told you in the car, I told you this on the gram, and yeah. I'm gonna tell you again on camera. Like I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you, bro. Like you, I man. remember Thank personal you, conversations we had um, when I was on season one and yeah. we was in the crib shooting um, the rap episode. You was mm -hmm. talking about beat selections. Yeah, bro. You ain't miss with no. Uh, with no beat. None. All right, that's good to know. <laughs> like, no, I'm being real, man. Cause yeah. I remember you were serious and you was critiquing yourself on your yeah. beat selection. You was like, yo, man, like, I, I don't know if I, I'm gonna say, it. you was like, yo, um, you said something like, dog, uh, I don't know if people like the beats I'll pick, but the beats people pick, I can kill that shit, but like, yeah. it seemed like they don't like the beats I pick, so I just yeah. rap on the beats that they want me to rap on. I felt like that for a this while. This one, too. I don't know who helps you or if you focus on it, but yeah. it was perfect, dog. I appreciate it. It was perfect. Man. Now, the song, um, the track selections, mm -hmm. as far as the number, why the number you have? Uh, seven. Seven. Vic. Um, Push your T. I just felt like, <laughs> I just felt like going with seven was cool because, uh, 
I hadn't dropped a project since on all platforms or whatever since like 2016. Mm -hmm. So I felt like seven was just the perfect number to like, uh, for it not to be such a long listen. And it's not short neither. Right. Like it was just like the perfect number in between. You could have been 10 or eight or so, like something like that. But seven to me like stood out like, right. All right, let's go, let's go for seven. And I, of course, out of seven, I probably recorded maybe about 40 to 50 songs and just scrolled through them and went and picked like the best seven. Yeah, like I got like, I got to I got to I got to hit you off with them too. I got like no selection full of unreleased shit. Now with so. that, now when people be saying stuff like that, do you actually anticipate on having those unreleased songs on another tape? Or are you going to do the same exact thing how you just dust? That's a good question. That's a good question. I don't know. Like a lot of people would tell you like, I'm real, I'm real, uh, I'm real perfect about like okay. the songs I put out, mm -hmm. but it's so much good songs. There's so many, it's so much good content. Even if I don't put that ex exact song out, it's like verses I may use or hooks or ideas or concepts and shit like that that I may use. But yeah, it's like 50 songs that didn't make the tape, that, that didn't make the tape. That That's a 57 total tape. right there. Yeah, if y'all catching, if y'all keeping definitely. up. Damn. Yeah, we was locked in. We was locked in for about, uh, it probably took me like three to four months to record everything. And then the rest of the rest of the time was just picking the songs and getting all the other shit, album artwork and shit like that. Like, now my song, it's a banger. Yeah. All your songs is a banger on there, but I believe if I'm not mistaken, it's Bank Roll or Paper, Blue Paper. Blue Paper. Blue, Blue Paper. paper. Featuring Feature Sosa. Sosa. Yes, Listen. Yeah. Bullets out when the blind, can't you see by the tan. Smoked on in the wind, whip looking clean, going for the win. Got a Philly nigga with me, with a Ruger, with him throwing like he wins. Like a nigga got an hand, like a nigga got a I'm talking blue paper, thick like newspaper, that's that Jew paper. GT, a Bentley truck, fuck him, a rock blue rainbow. Two player, bitch like Angelina, call her Tomb Raider. You singing, you don't fuck with me, well fuck you. I'm talking blue faces, I'm fresh out the bando. Shit, I didn't call two cases two. In places you can't go oh, no. I feel like I'm Rambo Strap hole a hundred for ammo That's what you call ammunition I ain't have a pot to piss And it's funny cause you asking uh, He was asking who, who was somebody on the song But anyway, yo That was a banger, yo The beat, the hook, and also the verse, man Like how did you, um, you know First things first, I wanna get on that song But like how did you Decide to pick the people that was featured on your um, track. Um, that's that's like genuine. That's like genuine like relationships. Okay. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like just like going off of the name or who people are, who the followers are. Like I think you just create the best music when you got a genuine relationship with somebody. And, uh, and that's how it kind of worked out with me and Bria Sosa is actually my engineer. Okay. Yeah, so, wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Wait, that wasn't him on the hook, was it? Yeah, that's him on the hook. Yeah, that's Shit. him on the hook. Like, who else would it be, right? Right. right. So yeah. he, uh, we was we was locked in one night, and I was telling him, I'm just like, and Sosa makes fire music too, like. Follow him if you if you if you want to or whatever. Right. But uh, Sosa makes fire music, so uh, I was telling him I'm like, you know, the first three songs is kind of like, you know, uh, real street music, like mm -hmm. kind of like street gospel type of thing. I was telling him like I need energy, like I need some energy, and he played the beat, and I was like, yo, this is it, this is it. Now, first, especially how it came on, it's yeah. like a, it's like a sneaky type of yeah, it came right on, and I'm like, yo, this is it. He went in there, knocked the hook out. I think we did that. I think we did that the same night. We did that the same night. As he was doing the hook, I was writing my verse, and we we knocked it out right there the same night. Now, fake love. Yeah. Now, matter of fact, before we get to fake love, um, don't wanna don't die. die. Yeah. That's your favorite song. That's my favorite song. That's my favorite. Let's touch song. on that. Now, like one thing I do notice, you seem like you started. Bringing out the, he was harmonizing or bringing out the melodies yeah, or auto tune. Yeah. Which one was it? I'm not sure which one it was. More, yeah, a little more of both. But you know, why is that your favorite song? Uh, and it was different. Yeah, super different. Uh, I think that's probably one of the reasons because it was different from a lot of the stuff I do. Um, secondly, like as an artist, you know how like when you can, uh, when you think about a lot of shit that you want to do, mm -hmm. it's hard to actually go in the studio and create it just how you picture it. Vision, right, right. And that was one of the first songs that I like actually executed how I heard it in my head. Mm. And I'm like, yo, this shit's fire. Right, 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 right. right, the right. Beat, like everything. Just the sub and the subject matter a lot too. Like mm -hmm. the subject matter is kinda like 
you know, just just the just the typical things that a lot of you know up and coming black dudes think about growing up in the areas that we grow up in. It's like you know what I'm saying. We mm -hmm. we around death every day, all day. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying. Like, and to kind of get away from that, some people feel like you know just stray away completely to the left, or some people feel like they have to be a little bit more protective of themselves. Right. And uh, I think don't want to die was just kind of my way of telling people like that I'm I'm going to protect my energy you know what I mean like I'm going to protect myself we all don't want to die you know what I'm saying but um I'm going about it like this some right. people can go about it like that but I should go about it like this you exactly know? now you end up with fake love yeah yeah fake love and you got one of my favorite rappers in the city Osama yes, sir. Osama um, Osama you know, it's, yeah, people don't even want to see my top 10, but, you know, he's in my top five. Yes, sir. But uh, just want to let y'all know. And my man Mitch. My man Mitch on there, too, man. You know, Mitch, that, he's, you know, that's Andre 3K right there to me, yo. You know, that's, he, he, he he in his own lane, but we, we off there right now. We speaking on uh, fake love, though. Fake love, Um, you had Osama on there. Why did you reach out to Osama or um, what, what, whatever happened? Yeah, we reached out. I reached out to O just through, like, uh... Just like mutual people we be around. Okay. And uh, I, I had just got on to his uh, Blue Heart Therapy. Ooh. Yeah, shout out to Osama Blue Heart Therapy. Go download that. It was Blue Heart Therapy too. Ooh. Yeah, too. Intro crazy, bro. Yeah, whole tape. <laughs> yeah, whole tape. Crazy. Top to bottom. Whole intro crazy. And uh, you know, like I had got put on it through some homies that knew him. Okay. So, of course, I was just like, yo, like, like I'm gonna work it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I pulled up on him, knocked the hook out. He freestyle diverse, you know what I'm saying? Freestyle diverse in like 20 minutes, you know what I'm saying? And we and we had it wrapped up in like a day, in like a day or two. We had it wrapped up and ready to go out. And I knew from the moment I recorded it, from the moment we recorded it, like the streets was gonna love it. You know what I'm saying? Like I knew the streets just based off the subject matter and the two people who got rapping on it. Exactly. You know what I'm like, like I agree. I don't mean to cut you off, um, but yeah. one thing I will say, um, like I said, my homies. From DC, I spoke to you about this again. So I'm gonna say, I'm not to, spoke to you about this before, but I'm gonna say it again. Mm -hmm. My homies from DC, man, was like, yo, who the ball you was playing, yo? Cause that damn sample <laughs> is amazing. Amazing. They're like, that amazing. sample crazy and shit. I'm like, yo, it's my man famous shit. So he go back home and shit to DC, and I forgot to send him the song. He hit me up, like, yo, Dev, send me the song. Yeah. Alright, send him the song. They blasting and shit. I'm not even around. They probably listening to it right now. You right. feel me? Like, yeah. but Please like <laughs> that song, bro. Like, I, it was yeah. to a point where, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you face to face. Yeah. I was like, who got the better verse? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I like, I'm a competitor, so yeah, I want to know who got the better verse. Of course. So I'm listening. I'm listening, and I'm like, all right, but it's two different situations. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You talking on some personal shit. Right. He talking on some personal shit, but it's 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 personal on a different perspective. Right. And I'm like, you know what? They both killed it. Yeah. You know, they both killed it. Like, yeah. like I can't say someone left someone because it's like whatever y'all was going through, y'all overcame it and y'all yeah. mastered it through y'all verse. Definitely. But go ahead. And that's how I felt. Uh even watching him do the verse. Like I was just watching him do the verse. And of course, when somebody freestyling, it's all off top and yeah. whatnot. So it's real. Like it's real. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And one of the best things I one of the biggest things I fuck with about O is just uh just the conviction in his voice. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when he say it, you feel it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and you you believe it's real, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. him talking on those topics, him talking on that track, it just it just gave me that emotion, like Like you living that moment. Yeah, yeah I feel yeah, that, bro. Definitely. I feel that. Um but now that we covered the tape. Yeah. We covered your tape. Now, by you dropping your tape May 24th, yes, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. you was booked. I was booked. Like, how did you booked. feel? Like, <laughs> I, like seriously, like, how did you feel? Like, with all the reaction, the yeah. especially because your tape was anticipated, highly anticipated. It was, it was. Like, how was you feeling, man? Um, I was feeling like a fucking idiot, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I right. was feeling like an idiot, but um, I wanted to just kind of take those feelings and not. And not run from them, just embrace it. Like, yo, like, you fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Like, and move better and, and, and do the right shit going forward. Right. But the, the main thing, and uh, normally a lot of people would tell you the main thing when they get incarcerated is, of course, their freedom, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. I wasn't even worried about just coming home. I'm just like, yo, I gotta promote the tape, man. Mm -hmm. I gotta get the EP out there, you know right. what I'm saying? And, uh, but that was the stressful thing for me, not actually being in jail, just knowing that I had a body of work coming out. Mm -hmm. I had people waiting for it. 
And I kind of felt like I had let motherfuckers down. Because you, you can't push it the way you want yeah, to. Yeah, I kind of felt you like I had You got to depend on your team yeah, right, right. Yeah. And, it was, and it was cool because the team held me down. They did, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, they did. They kept posting on my page. I, I had, thought it was you for a minute. That's how yeah, I'm, I'm, bro, I'm texting right here. <laughs> I know. I yeah. was in that same shit. People texting me like, yo, I think you still out here. Yeah, <laughs> real rap, though. Yeah. And uh, so, that's, so that was the main thing. Like, I, I, felt, I felt stupid, but I definitely wanted to not just feel like that, like embrace it and overcome it. And mm-hmm. I think, uh, you know, like through God's timing, it all worked out. Cause my situation could have been a lot worse and I could have not been able to promote the tape like at all. You that's know what a I'm fact. saying? That's a fact. So for me to be able to come out still and people was like receiving the tape as well as they was, mm-hmm. I was able to come back home, look at my stories and see hundreds and hundreds of people posting videos to the song and just downloading it. It made me feel great. It made me feel great. It made me realize that, you know, like, uh, I got a bigger purpose than whatever could be going on in the streets. Like, people was attaching to the music. They love the music. And it's a story in the music that, yeah. that's going to help other people. If it don't help just me just from getting it out, it's going to help other people. So uh, I think I think it was just a God thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it all happens for a reason. Like, um... One thing I wanted to touch on, I'm not sure if you remember, but yeah. well, of course you remember you was on going through it. Freeway. Freeway, yeah. That's heavy. Yeah, that's, that's heavy to have someone like backing you. Yeah, that's the whole Like they're like now, yeah. you can speak on that. Yeah, shout out to Freeway. Uh, it's crazy how me and Freeway actually wound up linking up. Um, I got a freestyle out the DTLR joint. Yeah. Me and my homie, shout out to Jay Hill. Jay Hill brought me out, he's from Baltimore. Jay Hill. Yeah, he fuck, uh, he fuck with the kid, man. Yeah, shout out to him. You Jay got that Hill. shit moving, man. That's the homie. He, uh, like, when I had, like, 2,000 followers or something like that, he, I was putting my freestyles up. Mm-hmm. He reached out, mm-hmm. told me to come down. He was starting his, you know, uh, freestyle thing. He wanted me to come jump on. Mm-hmm. And we did it. And we did Murdered it. Murdered that joint, and too. And then, uh, not only that, like, Jay Hill was so dope and so good of a person. Like, when Freeway came to do his freestyle, he showed him mines. Yeah, you know Philly, saying? Philly, right? Yeah, he showed him mines, and uh, I fuck with uh, I know Freeway's uh, photographer and director and shit okay. like that. So his uh, director had actually like recorded Freeway's reaction to the freestyle. Oh and shit! Sent it to me. Oh shit! So I'm like, yo, you like, I gotta, I gotta meet Free. Like, yo, right, introduce right. me to him or whatever. And right. Like, yo, we having this event down here. Mm-hmm. Just come down, and pull up on him. I went down there, I pulled up on him, and he was like more than, more than open, more than welcome, like all hands out you know what i'm saying like Word. let me know yo take my number yo hit me up right now so i have your number Word. Like, i'm going to the studio this day like let's lock in and you probably like damn i'm listening to this nigga on the radio yeah, flip side bro, like that shit's crazy that shit i grew up on freeway young guns of course the whole state property situation right but like yeah just to know like you know one of the ogs we look at can 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 see the potential in me and, and shit like that you know again let me know like you know, you got a little bit of talent, like run with this shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. Before um, I am uh, continue this episode, let me clear that up. I just said flip side. That's PD Crack. I meant to say, <laughs> even though what we do is wrong, because oh, I don't yeah. want nobody to say, yo, Dev, you just messed up. <laughs> I had to clear that up real quick. <laughs> what we do is wrong. Yeah, but uh, yeah. now the reactions you be getting on the gram, you know. Yeah. Listen, bro, yeah. you be spitting too many bars. It's to the oh, point where, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm gonna say it to you. I'd be like, all right, now, what bar are you going to say that's going to be a caption of mine? Right, right. You feel me? <laughs> this nigga just recently said something like, this ain't no purse, nigga. This ain't ex- he says, this. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, you, like, yeah. you was snapping on, man. But, like, one thing I want to say, like, dude, who's your favorite rapper? Ask, who's your favorite rapper? Uh, That's a tough question. Of course, Jay-Z. But of not course. to get a typical Jay-Z answer. Uh, I'll put people like like Ross, you huh. know what I'm saying? Tip. Okay. A lot of those people. Uh. Just like real lyricists, you know okay. what I'm saying? Um, Young Chris is one of my favorite rappers ever. You know mm, ever? Ever, yeah, one of my favorite rappers Oh, ever. shit. He okay. kind of, the reason I rap, you know what I'm saying? I heard I heard Chris rap before I was rapping, and I'm just like... Not to compare, but do you do think you like him better than Neef? A lot. Or, I, I do. Know, a lot. I do. I know that used to be like an age-old debate, yeah. Chris or Neef or yeah. whatever. But, but you like you like Chris. Yeah, and I met a lot of people who like Neef. Fuck with Neef too. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Chris. Chris was definitely one of my favorite rappers ever. Right. Yeah. Now, one thing I want to ask you: Do you have any upcoming shows? Do you have anything like in the near future for 2019 and further? Uh, 2019. Right now, I just got like a feature performance at the TLA. Me and my homie Frost from out uh, Atlanta, 
We did a feature. He's opening up for uh, Polo G. Okay. At the TLA. So we gonna rock that shit July 5th. Make sure you come out, get your tickets July 5th at the TLA. Mm -hmm. I'll be up there networking, mingling, fucking with people. So mm -hmm. it'll be a good event. It'll be a good vibe. And you also opened up at um, Vultures Lounge, didn't you? I was Asian. supposed to. Supposed I was to. locked up during that time. Oh, <laughs> see, listen, I, listen, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I'm keeping yeah. up, man. I'm keeping up with him, yeah, though. Definitely. Can I ask you something, man? Yeah. This one question, because um, sure. you'll be the first to do it, though. For sure. Can What's you give that? me a freestyle? Freestyle. Not a freestyle, <laughs> but any bar. Like, just give him something. Like, if you can give him something. Give him some type of bars or something. Uh, okay. And I got him on the spot. Yeah, I knew. I put me right I didn't on the even spot. discuss this with no one. You put me you know? right on the spot. I just want to uh, say. Let me, let me, uh, you know, I just want. Right I want y'all to hear him. You know, because um. Yeah, he did. It's gonna be a lot of people that's watching this episode, and they're gonna be like, "Yo, Dev, like, who fame I never heard of." Well, y'all about to hear some bars, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. on this episode, um, he's gonna be the first rapper. All right, know, we ending it right now. How about, about we end it with the bars? Man, we about to end it right now. All right, we about to. Unless you want to talk <laughs> yeah, about some, right unless you want to talk about something else, yeah, we can talk about whatever right we want to talk about. All right, uh, let me see, you know? man. Let me see what I got. But if you want me to help start it off, you know, I can <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't, yeah, I haven't spit in Dev a while. Raps. Don't, don't let him lie to you. Dev raps when he feel like it. Like, like people know, and, and this coming from a rapper, you feel <laughs> me? Like I really rap when I want to rap, though. Yeah. You know. Um. But uh. Let me see, man. Let me see what I got. Let me see what I got in here, man. Uh, he put me right on the spot. That's as you, crazy. but as you, as you look, as okay. you doing your thing, as you doing your thing, though. But one thing I do want to ask before we end this episode: yeah. when you have your freestyles, yeah. how, like, what, what beat do you? I mean, how do you um, choose your beat selections? Is someone saying, "Yo, fam, I want you to rap on this beat," or mm -hmm. you are rapping on the hottest beats that's out? Uh, it's like 50-50. If okay. I get a request of people, I mean, you're one of the people that I always take requests from. Like, mm -hmm. people that I know like like my raps, mm -hmm. I, I like. I take their requests real serious. So if right. you tell me to spit on the beat, if certain people tell me to spit on the beat, mm -hmm. like, I'll consider it. And I'll definitely most likely do it. But right. for the most part, it's just kind of like whatever I'm feeling that day. It's okay. like old school shit. I got freestyles too. It's like new shit too. Right, so right. it's kind of like whatever I'm feeling at the time. Right, 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 right. right. But um, I'm gonna end it with some bars. I say, uh, new Glock 30, these niggas not worthy. Make my work all out in Camden, you just cop jerseys. Fully loaded nine Taurus in a stock 30. Feel like the ranch is how I drop 30. Ain't no remorse for all you pill head bitches, just wanna pop 30s. You looking 30, bitch, you not 30. A hundred shots to clear this whole room quick and I drop the stock early. I make a shot, that's bye bye, birdie. Often I write it. These flows is often recited by dope dealers across the world, we united. Make a deal and I quote, I'ma come back and give my niggas some hope. We can't fix the way we live in this broke. Broke my wrist in this Pyrex till a nine stretch, I take no losses. They just bottom tear, they ain't no bosses. <laughs> Yo, that's <laughs> it, man. <laughs> Episode two, man. Next up with Dan Paul, man. Dead Yo, ball, man, this man can't stop spitting, right man. Now. Yo, I wish y'all would've seen my damn reaction, but <laughs> shit, man. Y'all know how yeah. I go, man. They would never not, uh, man, it's out, you I'll know, on all, all platforms, platforms, man. Forever everywhere. famous, man. Headquarters yeah. Media. Next up with Dan Paul. Y'all know how this shit go. Yes, sir. Bam, damn! Woo! Uh, <laughs>